What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the 2020 NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs Finals. Now, both these teams, every chance that I had this year for my series, talking about the playoffs, I predicted against them every single time. And both teams made it to the finals. And the reason why I was predicting against them is because I don't follow each team. I literally had to look up to see who is on each team because I just don't follow them. So that's the main reason why I was betting against them. So there's not a, not too much I have to say about either team just because I don't follow them. I don't know how they're doing throughout the season this year. But there's a couple things that I want to mention about each team. Now the teams I'm talking about are Dallas Stars and Tampa Bay Lightning. They're going to be facing each other for the Stanley Cup. And I think that is pretty cool. But both teams have won the Cup before. And I really wanted to have somebody that's never won the Cup before make it to the finals. That's what I love to see. So they at least get a chance, which would have been cool. But my predictions were for New York Islanders and Philadelphia Flyers to make it to the finals and win the Cup. And I know both those teams have won before, but those two teams I follow in depth. I love their players. I love their lineups. And that's who I wanted to see make it. So for Dallas Stars and Tampa Bay Lightning, I don't know much about them. But Tampa Bay Lightning do have Patrick Maroon, who I'm a huge fan of. He won the Stanley Cup last year with St. Louis and with his new team this year making it to the finals. That would be pretty cool for him to win the Cup two years in a row with two different teams. I think that would be really special. They have a lot of other great players as well, including Steven Stamkos. But I find it hilarious because everybody used to say that Steven Stamkos is the reason why Tampa Bay does so good. However, he has yet to play a game for this year's playoffs and they made it to the finals without him. So I think it's just not a Steven Stamkos is the reason why they do so good. I think it's a team as a whole, and they have a lot of great players as well, a great goalie and a whole bunch of stuff. But again, I had to look up to see who was on the team because at the time, I didn't know who was on their team or who got traded to the team because I don't follow Tampa Bay or Dallas Stars. On Dallas Stars, we have Ben Bishop, which this one's interesting for me because... Last season, I believe, he was on Tampa Bay Lightning. He got traded to Dallas Stars, if I remember correctly, or maybe he just signed with them. So in the finals, he's playing against his former team. So this one here could go either way. That'd be interesting. If he wins it with Dallas Stars, that means the trade was good. If the Tampa Bay Lightning win, that means that that trade, and to me, that would be a really stinger if you were the one that got traded making it to the finals with your new team and then losing against your old team that would just ultimately suck they have other players that i follow tyler sagan who i collect hockey cards for and i think he's great he's won the cup before with boston bruins i think if i remember correctly um and we also have joel povelski who i remember back when he was traded from the san jose sharks that I think one of the reasons why he was traded and was kind of okay with traded, of course, it had to do with salary cap, but it also, I believe, had to do with him wanting to be on a team that wins. Now, San Jose has a lot of great players. However, in my opinion, they just never deliver. And that's true because they didn't even make it into the playoffs this year. So I think that's interesting right there. A couple players on Dallas Stars who I like, a couple players on Tampa Bay that I really like. But again, I just did not follow the teams this year. That's why I betted against them and predicted against them every chance that I had. And of course, they won the cup before. So this one here, honestly, I feel like it could go either way. Tampa Bay could win or da um, Dallas Stars. Tampa Bay could win or the Dallas Stars. But again, I don't know. And I'm not really caring to see who wins the cup this year. But I will make a prediction. And that's going to be Tampa Bay Lightning. The reason for this is I think it'd be a really cool story for Patrick Maroon, who I'm a huge fan of, to win the cup a second time two years in a row with two different teams and win it with his new team. I think that'd be really cool for him to do that and it, honestly a career highlights. But of course, if Dallas Stars win, Ben Bishop can pretty much do the same thing, except instead of winning it two years in a row, in a row winning the Stanley Cup with his new team against his old team. Both have unique stories, but I'm going to say Tampa Bay Lightning 4-3. I'm going to say it's going to go down to the last game. And even though I'm predicting Dallas, or sorry, I'm predicting Tampa Bay Lightning, I feel like Dallas Stars, because I predicted against them every single time, I feel like they may win the Cup this year. But my prediction is still going to be Tampa Bay, just based on 
the fact that they made it to the finals without Steven Stamkos. Now he's rumored to play in the final series. I don't know if it's game one or when he's playing, but he's rumored to be playing in the finals for the Stanley Cup, which to me, I don't 100% get. I don't know why he wasn't playing, but for you just to come back in the finals when your team made it without you, when you were supposed to be the all-star, just so you can win the cup, that to me, I just don't 100% agree with and don't get. I don't know why he's coming back if he was away for this long. He would still, I think, have his name on the cup, even though he wasn't playing actively on the team. He was still a member of the team. So it's just kind of weird. I don't honestly feel like they need him to win the cup. So it's going to be interesting. This playoff series, again, I don't follow each team, so I don't know how excited I'm going to be for the finals this year and to see who wins the cup. But it is still going to be pretty cool based on those two stories with Ben Bishop and Patrick Maroon alone. So comment down below who you think is going to win the Stanley Cup this year and hoist it up. I think that it's going to be a very interesting series, but I just don't know how excited I'm going to be just because I don't follow, follow neither team. If it was a team that I followed, Vegas, Philadelphia Islanders, I'd be more excited for it. But the fact that it's two teams that I don't follow whatsoever... I literally had to look up the rosters. I don't know what is going to happen for the playoffs, and I don't know how excited I will be. So I'm going to leave this video here. Comment down below your predictions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.